Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install web services on IIS in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. If you're looking to expose your uh, website to internet, then this would be a good video for you to watch. Uh, we will be installing IIS services on Microsoft Dynamics AX using Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, setup utility. Um, I do have all the media, all the requirements. First, we're going to go ahead and check the prerequisite during the installation all the prerequisites are actually checked uh, and uh, then installation actually it'll go let you install IIS or web services on IIS so what we're gonna do go to the server where I have install uh, I have media and I wanted to install IIS services make sure that uh, the role IIS role is uh, .NET role is already installed I'm gonna show you how. If you have Windows 2008 R2 or uh, uh, Windows 2012, uh, you can go to Server Manager and you go to the IIS tab and open IIS Manager. I'll let it load. Here's the IIS tab. Right click on um, IIS uh, Manager. You can open that from here. You can just click on Add Roles and Feature. Click Next role based or feature based installation here's my server where I wanted to install web services so click next if you can see right here web server IIS if you open this you go management tools and you click on I'm sorry uh, I think that we need to go on here and go to application development and once you open expand the application development you need to make sure that uh, .NET, um, ASP.NET 3.5 ASP.NET 4.5 are installed if they are not installed you need to install them before you can create web services on IIS uh, if you don't know how to do that, I have uh, a separate video how to install the prerequisites uh, in Microsoft Dynamics AX. So you can watch that video and know how to install that. But basic actual procedure is that you come here and you select the services and you click next and um, let it install. So our uh, prerequisites as far as this concerns met. So we're going to cancel this. We're going to close the server manager. We're gonna go, um, this is my installation media. Uh, it's always a good idea to validate the system requirements before you start into installation, but uh, since I know that my requirements are met, I'm going to click on install, because also it will go through the prerequisites while you install the components. Click on Microsoft Install AX Components. Click Next. You need to add or modify uh, components since um, um, my uh, AOS is installed already. All the other components are installed already. So we're going to go ahead and add, <coughs> excuse me, add that uh, web service uh, on IIS component uh, in the Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. So we're going to go ahead and click next. As you can see that um, it shows you that what components has installed and what components hasn't installed. So what we're, we're going to do is web services on IIS. This is integration component. You want to make sure that .NET Business Connector is also installed. So we're going to click on next. Uh, we're going to click on these two components, integration components, and click next. It's going to go through, as I said, the prerequisites. If any prerequisite didn't meet, then it's going to let you know that uh, you know you need to take care of that before you can proceed for installation so click next here's the proxy uh, business connector proxy account so I'm gonna go ahead and give the password for that you need to set business connector proxy account information prior to doing this if you don't know how to do that please watch my video how to set up the proxy account information in dotnet business connector in Microsoft Dynamics AX so we're gonna go ahead and click next 
here's the uh, website you wanted to do the default website you could do that and uh, application pool is going to be AXAIF60 I would accept all the default setting but however you can change according to your requirement if you want to and uh, you can click on restart IS after installation is complete which is always a good idea and is required but if uh, you don't do that and wanted to install other components before you install before you restart the IS components then you have an option to uncheck this so I'm gonna keep it checked so click next here the uh, uh, service account for AOS so we're gonna use this is my service account you can change the service account if you have a different service account so we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep this as a service account so click next it's gonna check uh, again validate the prerequisites if there is any issue it'll let you know right now and we need to fix that before we can proceed for installation All right, one thing that uh, we have a warning, warning is okay, that uh, website services, if you click on this warning, it will tell you that they need to be running. Um, I have an enterprise portal actually installed, and so that's why it's saying that uh, IIS may need to be running, and if you click on that, that'll tell you that Internet Information Services, IIS website selected for web services on IIS must be running. So um, we're gonna go back and um, check that if those services are running so we're gonna go ahead and click on IAS we're gonna open IAS manager and if you see up here website this is default and uh, I'm using for SharePoint 80 uh, this is the port is being used already for that uh, these are SharePoint some of the SharePoint services if I click on restart it's gonna give me error that uh, the port is already being used if you cannot be restarted another website may be using the same port the reason is that my SharePoint is using this um, um, 80 so um, I, I, I have an option that I'm gonna go ahead and change that to uh, SharePoint uh, website instead of uh, default but uh, we will see if installation fails then we might want to go back and change that so I'm gonna keep it that way so click next these components are going to be installed web services on IIS which is our intention .NET business connector which is required so click on install the installation is going to take some time if uh, I run into any issue I'll let you know and I'm going to pause the video I'll be back all right as you can see the .NET business connector is installed successfully web services on IIS installed successfully if we wanted to look at it we can go in IIS manager and look at this website so this is how you install uh, web services on IIS in Microsoft Dynamics AX again you install web services on IIS if you wanted to expose uh, your website to internet uh, if you wanted to keep it in internet then uh, you wouldn't need this components to be installed and I hope it helps